Hey there, Melissa here back with the scrapery today and what I have is a cut file and I've just cut it on my silhouette so I'm going to take it off. It's from Paper Issues, they have free cut files in their store. Ava's here too so I'll provide a link below. Um, okay, just lift it off. So it's got um, some solid hearts, some open hearts and lots of detail on the sides of some of the hearts so there's cutaway pieces and I'll show you my photos in a sec so um, hasn't cut fully on some bits but it's not a problem um, it's only one bit really so you can use your fingers or the tools if you have them that um, or even a little craft knife would help so we'll sort out the rough edges soon so what I have is this and oh, make sure you can see it properly. The light is a bit strange because it's spring here and it's um, a bit overcast today, so that's why it looks like that. Now, I have these three photos of Ava when she was 10 weeks old and um, she had to have an, a heart scan, but I'll tell you more about that in the voiceover. And so I thought I wanted to have hearts definitely feature on this page. I did, um, I was kind of inspired by this paper with all the hearts, but I thought it would be a bit much. So what I'm thinking is I um, might go a bit bold today, and possibly, I'm not sure. We may use this as a background. I did think about the pink cardstock, but um, yeah, not really sure. Um, might be a bit too bold for me. And I thought I'd back some of these, not all of them. Or, um, yeah, white. I did think about white on white, but I've done that before for you. The other option was this, but I want to save that, I think, for a boy one. It's got that incredibly full-on paper on the back. So I'm going to push myself, because I would not normally gravitate towards a purpley mauve colour. Ava's teething, she's just coughing, she's playing on the floor. She's smiling, I wish you could see. So, um, maybe I will show you actually, since we're... Okay, excuse my mess. Ava! Ava! There she is. Okay, so I'm back now doing the voiceover, and I have had a mega, mega struggle with technology. I have missed my date for uploading this because I could not get my... Um, videos off my phone and onto my computer we've had major internet issues here and I could have done it on iMovie on my phone but I am so used to doing it on my Mac that um, I just I just couldn't I really probably need to learn how to do that on my phone and probably a lot of you will laugh and say it's easier on your phone but anyway that's why this has taken so long um, so here what I was doing was I decided to make that um, photo of the equipment of the actual scan, the centre photo, and looking back at it, I think it's a bit odd that I made it look pretty, because it really wasn't pretty, but um, visually and in order to tell the story, I think this piece goes really well in the centre of the photos. So I knew that in order to showcase all the hearts, excuse me, I wanted to have my photos clustered like that. It also meant that I could use a doily behind them and keep them just um, on the right side of the page which is something I gravitate to which is a design with um, my photo on the right. So with this paper I wanted to make sure that you could see there were hearts on there otherwise it um, kind of defeats the purpose of why I base this layout off this paper and um, while I'm doing this and as I get on to the embellishing I'll just explain to you. So you may know this already because you if you follow my um, channel Last year, so when I was pregnant, I went to the, we have an 18 week scan, and they saw a hole in the baby's heart, so um, yeah, that was a bit upsetting, but we um, we just believed that God was going to heal her, we didn't tell anybody, we told, I mean, we told a couple of really close friends, but other than that, we didn't tell anybody, and we just prayed and believed that God would heal her, and so I had to have an extra scan at 28 weeks, which you don't normally get here, 
And um, so at 28 weeks, I just had a piece about it and we went to the scan and the hole was gone. And it was at that point they told us that the hole was significant and um, they looked, they spent so long trying to find it, but it was definitely gone. And so then when Ava was um, born, they, they had a pediatrician in the room. I have it anyway with the cesarean, but um, we were told that she would probably get scanned on that day or the next day but it didn't happen and then it turned out that they were too busy in the hospital and so we just had to wait and then when she was 10 weeks old Ava and I we drove two hours or two and a half hours south to the base hospital which is where she was born and we had this scan it's called an echocardiogram and you'll see as I um when I make when I put the title on this that I had to write the word down so I could make sure I spell it properly but basically we live in a we live in Queenstown, which is known as the adventure capital of the world. Um, it's one of the fastest, I think it's the second fastest growing town in New Zealand after Auckland, which is a big city. But they don't have the equipment or the healthcare here to be able to do it. So we went all this way for a two, oh sorry, for a 20 minute scan. And so this um, at this point, I asked the lady doing the scan if I could take a photo, I think she kind of thought I was going to stick it all on Facebook and social media and said yes as long as her face wasn't in it and so I used my phone because that's all I had, I wasn't going to, I mean I think I did have my big camera but I didn't want to go too full on and um, so for the first probably 10 minutes Ava was fine, she handled it and then after that she didn't handle it and cried and they tried putting a pacifier in her mouth and we don't use a pacifier and she didn't want that and um, she was brave but the most important thing was that the hole was gone and we knew that it wouldn't be in the skin but they had to do it anyway. And I will have another layout, or I may have even done it already, I can't remember, but um, where she had another appointment up here with the pediatrician and he checked her over and just confirmed that the hole was healed and he actually said um, that he'd never known of a baby that had been healed by prayer in the womb of something like this so it's it's a miracle um it's um yeah it's you may not believe but I certainly believe and and the bible says that um you know ask and you shall receive and so we did and and we listened to God when he said not to say anything to anybody because we didn't want people speaking negatively about the situation. We didn't want people saying, oh, this baby's got a hole in her heart. Not that their words would affect her, but they would certainly affect or could influence our level of faith, which was to believe that she was healed. So I just wanted to um, share that with you. My faith is a big part of my life. And anyway, back to the layout. So I have clustered embellishments and that you have my heart, which is perfect, around my photos, and then I've created three areas of embellishment clusters. I did think about stitching, I did think about filling in some of these hearts, but in the end I decided to leave them plain, because I like the look of the white on the mauve, and then um, I have popped up some of these areas of embellishment on foam, like that one in particular that I'm working on now, because it would get lost if I left it flat, because it's a similar colour and tone to the background. So. Yeah, I added some of those rhinestones and then you'll see me come in soon with some of the enamel hearts. I tried to get as many hearts on here as possible and I also went for things like that You Are Amazing and um, what's the other one say, Be Yourself Colourfully and Bravely. Things that went with her being brave having the scan because for us as adults or even as kids it's not scary to lie there and um, have pressure put on you with a scan but for a baby it's um, it's not that pleasant so yeah um, after after we um, had the scan we went to my favorite cafe down there and I think I've got photos of that too so I should really scrapbook those and so I'm really making an effort to get some photos of Ava scrapped and into her scrapbook because my biggest problem at the moment um, and you may have seen it when I showed you Ava in this video at the beginning is I've got layouts everywhere and I really need to put them away and I need to date them because that's why they haven't gone away is because they have no dates and I need to find time to go and find the date on either my phone or my computer which is just annoying I'd rather be scrapping so here's my title I went with those Kaisercraft ivory um, leather stickers and no they're not the same color as the white of the background I don't want them to be I want this to be subtle I didn't want to use the pink dear Lizzie um, thickers I didn't want it to scream you know what this was about it's quite subtle and it's almost like the you have my heart is kind of the main title and this is a subtitle or 
vice versa. So I think subtle can be good sometimes. And um, I was watching Monica from Scrap Saturdays and she was talking about how you didn't always need a title and I totally agree with that. So I think it was you, Monica. If it wasn't, or was it Missy Whitten? One of you anyway had mentioned that and I, I agreed with that completely. So now I'm just, I really wanted to add the flair because it had a heart on it. And I think it looks quite good under the title. It helps draw attention to it because it is light. In the background you can hear Brielle playing babies, so she's making them cry. Um, I added my journaling where I talk about the scan and final um, thing is to add some of those splatters and that's, um, I can't remember the colour but it's a Kayser Craft that, colour that we got in one of the previous colour kits. So that is my layout. I hope you enjoyed watching this process and um, hearing more about me. Um, yeah, I'll be back again next week, hopefully on the day that I'm meant to be posting, which is Tuesday. Have an awesome week.